all right guys what's up so in this video I'm gonna show you how I get my doll clear coat like that looks all smoky to look like this all beautiful and shiny well guys I was gonna start off the video by showing you the engine that I got for the Talon and I was gonna start talking to you about how my motor mounts are broken but I got something more interesting to show you. Look who's back and finally home, guys. So I know a lot of you guys are gonna be excited for this footage coming soon. But I'll give you guys a quick little walk around on the boat later on. I gotta flush it. It just went on its first sea trial and it ran amazing. So I wasn't on the boat, obviously. If not, I would've taken you guys along for the ride, but my dad just told me that it ran amazing and she's ready to go and he needs me to flush it so he's gonna hit the trash can if you guys don't know this is my dad's 38 donzi zrc powered by twin 1075s that have been upgraded by cobra power and now the boat is making a little bit under 1300 horsepower and we should be getting some new top top speed numbers the boat has the boat has seen 130s. Hey, wait, 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 wait! Oh. <sighs> Almost got ran over. Oh. 
puppy? Yeah. Life hack. When your bell starts to squeak, get some cheap oil, some cheap soap. And your squeak goes away. So happy to have her back home. So excited to have her back home. Sounds good. So this is what we're gonna replace. I oh, turn it off now. Go ahead. All right. Yep. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for dropping off my boat. Appreciate it. Nah, I'm playing. That was my dad, everybody. This is his 38 Donzi ZRC. And we just got it back. Like I said earlier, we went on his first sea trial after getting the engines rebuilt and transmissions rebuilt. And the complete boat is brand new. So I'm going to watch this later on. The reason for this video was to show you guys, to show you all the defects on my girlfriend's boat and show you how my paint job came out if you guys haven't seen the video go watch the video and then come back to this video because you're gonna be completely lost all right the boat is officially painted we're not a hundred percent happy with the tone of the color even though a lot of you guys have said how amazing it is and blah 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 yes it does look good we are somewhat happy somewhat happy but we wanted a neon pink and there's only one vendor for neon pink, which that is House of Color, and one gallon, which they only started by quarts. Each quart is 140 bucks, 150 bucks. So for a gallon, it's gonna be like almost $800. For a paint that is not UV resistant, and it was only gonna last about a month to three months max. So I went to my local painter, um, paint supply store, and I had them mix something that I wanted up. I'm going to show you a, a pop-up clip right now of what 
the test paint would look like and the test paint looked amazing it had like a fluorescent pink to it kind of kind of um flip flop to a little bit of purple which i was okay with but this is not the paint that they originally gave me this ends up being like a magenta purplish paint which still looks good but we're not going to be keeping this paint for that long probably a year max after a year i'll take off the engine tape everything up and paint it a different color but like i showed you in the last video this is the good side right but i left the other side undone because i didn't wet center polish it if you guys see here there's a haze to the clear coat i painted this boat here in my driveway i had a tent a booth if you guys haven't seen it go watch it um so there's, there's a haze to the clear coat if you guys can see here, I hope it comes up on camera. Oh, this is hazy. Oh, this is hazy. See, I didn't do this part. I only did from the, the middle that way. So in this video, I want to show you how I got that haze off. I'm going to show you some defects. Um, a lot of you guys think that I did an amazing job, which I think I did. But there's a lot of runs. All right, there's a lot of defects. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and be like, it's amazing. It's perfect. No, it's not perfect. All right. There's a lot of defects. A lot of a few little runs. This side is my worst side. This side was the side that I was really crammed. And once I was clearing this side, it was dark and I couldn't see what I was doing. And yeah, so this side is my bad side. My dad calls this side the waterfall side. All right. So I'm going to be wet sanding with 800 grit on the parts that have the runs. 1000 grit, 1500 grit, 2000 grit, 3000 grit. I'm going to be polishing it with three polishing compounds and it should come out to a mirror finish let me show you guys also what engine i'm running if you guys are familiar with the channel you know i had a checkmate and i'm putting all the parts off the checkmate on this boat including the engine so thanks to one of my friends juan he passed by yesterday and he helped me take off my power head he was a huge help thank you juan i know you're watching so he helped me take off the power head. My plan for the power head, if you see here, it's a little crusty. It's all corroded in certain areas and it just looks ugly. So I wanna de-rig the whole power head. I wanna take off all the accessories, the harness. I wanna take it all down and I wanna repaint it, sand it down, repaint it, make it look pretty, clean up all the accessories. So when it goes back on the Talon, it looks brand new. Okay, I wanna order a new alternator or try to clean this up as best as I could. Maybe I'll think about maybe even painting this the alternator bracket the same color as the hall Give it a little bit of a bling just a little bit a little bit of a ricer a little bit of a of a rice All right, but my midsection. This is a 20 inch midsection off a 3 liter obviously That's a 250 EFI 2003 250 EFI. This is a 20 inch mid and look at this What can you guys see wrong here? Yeah, that's not supposed to be broken. And look at this. I used to get commented all the time. Oh, your engine looks like it's about to fall off. Well, yeah, it was about to fall off. All right. My motor mounts broke. These are solid motor mounts. I had already changed them in the past. This is the second, probably even the third time that I take the power head off to do this. And it keeps cracking the housing. Luckily, I have a bunch of part engines. Okay, I have a bunch of part Optimaxes. That, that's how I've been making some of my money. Okay, I go on Craigslist, offer up, and I find all these engines, part them out. So I have this 25 inch, or actually it's a 30 inch, um, 250 EFI. I'm gonna steal the housing from it. And I also took out the steering from it. I wanna run, I wanna run a side ram steering once the time comes. I gotta recuperate some funds because this boat took a lot of my money all right so i'm going to be running the c star c star steering this one has one too but this one looks ugly and yankee you guys can see here it didn't have the bushings and it just has a bunch of play in it and yeah no one wants that i know this is rigged up i'm trying to do everything professional all right you see some of these rigs here that i made in the past yeah i'm taking all that off i want this to be perfect I also want to take off the midsection, sand it down, paint all this, paint this. And I just want the engine to look perfect, brand new. So if I ever want to sell it or if I ever 
decide to maybe even buy a new power head because Mercury has those power heads that are remanufactured. Remanufactured, they have one year warranty, so I can either get a 250XS, zero hours, remanufactured, one year warranty for like eight grand, or I can get a 300XS for I think 13 grand, 12 grand, 13 grand. So that's probably the route I'm gonna go with this boat is making sure my midsection is perfect, running my power head until it blows up or just doesn't blow up and I sell it. And yeah, I'm gonna nose comb my lower unit from Bob's. I'm gonna do that myself. That's gonna be in our next video or in a future video. I don't know when that's gonna be. But yeah, the plan is to get my lower unit and put a nose cone on it. This is the jack play I'm gonna be running. I got all my harness. I took everything from the storage unit and I brought it over. This is everything to rig the boat. This is the jack play I'm gonna be running on the boat. I'm not sure how big it is. I think it's probably like a 10 inch or 12 inch. I'm not really sure But that's all the wiring that I'm gonna need also I was having troubles going into reverse and I figured out why My steering my reverse lever thing was bent. It's supposed to look like this one Nice and straight not bent like that one So I don't know if I'm gonna cut it down and get somebody to weld this up or cut it up. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. All right. I'm going to see how much they cost. Figure that out. Eventually, I want to get the alien cowling. But for now, I'm going to be using this old school EFI cowling. I'm going to take the stickers off. And I'm thinking of getting the decals. Professional, like real mercury decals to match this paint job. I think that would look sick. All right, guys. So like I said, I'm going to be wet sanding the boat today. This is my little kit. I have my bucket with my sandpaper. All right, 800 grit on a DA for the drips. I got 1,200 grit, or I got 1,000 grit in here somewhere too. And I got my Harbor Freight polisher. You know me, I love my Harbor Freight tools, especially when you put warranty on them, they don't question you. All right, so I got my, my Harbor Freight DA and my harbor freight polisher Ooh, this one looks a little ugly but yeah this is my harbor freight polisher with this pad and these are some of the glazes i'm still missing two of these i'm not sure where i put them but this is what i'm going to be using this is at the end this is the last compound or polishing glaze whatever you want to call it that i use and then the wax i'll be showing you throughout the whole video all right, so enough talking, let's get to work. Remember, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. There's no other YouTuber showing you these type of boats. All right, I'm not trying to be cocky, I'm just stating facts. All right, so now I'm gonna be using 1500 grit. Step, my second, my third, and my fourth. I know this is not the best stuff that's out there, but all my all that I've been on for a time.
All right, guys. There she is. The whole front end is officially polished, and it looks amazing. You see here, there's no more haze anywhere. You just try to see if I see. If you can see a clear coat. See if we can see a reflection. Hopefully that comes up on camera. No haze. Remember guys, I'm not a professional polisher, painter, fiberglass guy. I'm not a professional boat builder. I'm just a DIY YouTuber that thinks I can do what somebody else can do. All right, so use this video for entertainment purposes only. And if you learned something cool, if I did it wrong, comment down below. But I think it looks amazing, especially for my first time paint job and my first time polishing job. If this is my first time, imagine what I can do on my next and my third boat. And I got two more projects coming, so stay tuned for that one, all right? This is not gonna be the only project. But looks amazing. All right, guys, let me give you a quick little walk around on my dad's boat before I start cleaning it and I put it away. Remember, this is a 2009 38 Donzi ZRC. It's powered by 1075s that have been upgraded by Cobra Power. They've been upgraded by Cobra Power. And what Cobra did was lower the compression raise up the boost um put bigger pistons for bigger displacement because if you guys are familiar with the 1075s they have detonation issues so now we can run it on pump gas and not have any detonation issues they're making about a little bit less than 1300 horsepower the boat has seen 130 miles an hour so now with the new big upgrades we should be seeing a little faster speeds I'm not really sure what props my dad's running at the moment. We've tested so many props, but I'm sure I'm sure you gearheads who are into this hobby know exactly what props those are. I'm not sure. Um, the name of the boat is Todo or Nada. That's Spanish for all or nothing. Obviously, that'll tell you why. We're gonna be going for a sea trial sometime this week. My dad's a super busy guy. So I'm not sure exactly when that's going to be. But here she is. She's finally home. After a few months of being away. And I'm excited. I'm excited for that thing. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for the checkmate. And the Donzi you see in the back. The Donzi is going to be the next project that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be taking out the console. Closing off the transom. Putting the engines on a bracket. It might be getting twin Verados, so a 23 Donzi with twin Verados. It's gonna be fun. So that's gonna be the next project once this boat is 100% complete. And we should be going on this boat soon. So, yeah guys, please comment down below what you guys wanna see on the next few videos. What you guys wanna see when it comes to the Donzi. What you guys wanna see when it comes to the home built speedboat. We should be going for a windshield on Thursday, so hopefully the guy is not camera shy and he lets me record how he makes the windshield for this boat. Um, yeah, we're going to be taking apart this engine soon. I'll probably start doing this in the next few days. Obviously, I'm going to record all of it, but I want to take off all the accessories, take off everything, put it in a nice box. That's why I kind of organized myself here. Um, and yeah, guys, I appreciate you guys watching this long. Stay tuned for the next video. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, share this video to your friends who love boats, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace.